BMI or body mass index is a popular way to assess a person's weight and overall health. It is a convenient rule of thumb used to broadly categorize a person as underweight, normal weight, overweight or obese based on their mass and height. While this measure is popular in gyms and fitness centers to test overall body fat, there are a lot of other things this index does not cover. So in this video, we will learn what BMI is, what it measures and more importantly, what it does not tell you about your health. Let's begin. BMI is an index that looks at one's body weight divided by their height. The formula is defined as body weight in kilograms divided by height in square meters. The main purpose of the index is to categorize a person as underweight, normal weight, overweight or obese. 18.5 and below is considered underweight. 18.5 to 24.9 is normal weight. 25 to 29.9 is overweight and anyone with a BMI index of 30 or more is considered as obese. Adolf Quedlet a Belgian astronomer, mathematician and statistician devised the basis of BMI between 1830 and 1850. But the modern definition of the index was created by Ansel Keys in a paper published in 1972. The index is not only used at an individual level, but it has various other social uses. The World Health Organization regards an adult BMI of less than 18.5 as underweight and may indicate malnutrition, an eating disorder or other health problems. Interestingly, in France, Italy and Spain, legislation has been introduced banning the usage of fashion show models having a BMI below 18. The other use is to measure the growth of a child. It is documented against a BMI measured growth chart. Obesity trends can then be calculated from the difference between child's BMI and the BMI on the chart. Body mass index has been used in the healthcare industry for a long time. It is easy, cheap to calculate and is correct about 80% of the time. But there are a few limitations of this index. BMI categories that we discussed earlier are generally regarded as a satisfactory tool for measuring individuals. But there are many exceptions, especially athletes, children and the elderly. This is because the formula for BMI takes the weight of an individual as the main metric, but it does not take into consideration the difference between fat and muscle. Let's take Tom Brady, the famous NFL player, as an example. He is considered as one of the best American football players till date. He is 6'4", weighs about 102 kgs, but his BMI is 27.4, which according to the categories of the index is considered overweight. There are many other world-class athletes whose BMI categorizes them as overweight or even obese. That is because here we are concentrating on how much muscle these athletes have. A high muscle in the body allows one to stay fit with a much lower fat percentage than normal, which leads to an anomaly in the BMI measurement. There are several more variables that can affect the interpretation of BMI like age, gender and ethnicity. People from different ethnic groups have different associations between BMI. Physical characteristics of a person is also a big variable. The BMI overestimates roughly 10% for a tall frame individual and underestimates roughly 10% for a smaller frame person. In other words, people with smaller frames would be carrying more fat than optimal, but their BMI indicates that they are normal. Conversely, tall frame individuals may be quite healthy with a fairly low body fat percentage, but be classified as overweight by BMI. So even though this index has been around for over 200 years, it is not the best overall health indicator as it is considered these days. There are much more effective ways to measure body composition and the overall health of an individual. BMI Prime, a modification of the BMI system, is now gaining traction. It is the ratio of actual BMI to upper limit optimal BMI, currently defined at 25 kg per meter square. It means that the actual BMI is expressed as a proportion of its upper limit. Waist to hip ratio is also used sometimes as a measure of health. It is the ratio of the circumference of the waist to that of the hips. This is calculated as waist measurement divided by hip measurement. Apart from these units, 
MRI scans and underwater body measurements are also used to give a more detailed health report. BMI is the measure of one aspect of a person's health. So while it can be helpful, it should not be the only way to understand the human body. I do hope you liked this video and if you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more similar content. Thank you for watching.